Okay, I am going to start out with the beginning here. This is the little gel plate. I'm just going to use a baby one for this one. So this is a little six by six and um, any size would work. I'm also going to use watercolor paints. I did a lot of research on using watercolors on the gel plate. I watched a lot of YouTube videos and I have come up with some techniques I think that are different and fun and I wanted to share them with you. I will say that one of the techniques I'm going to be using today is from Marsha Valk and we adore Marsha anyway and when I get to it I'll give her a big shout out so um, she's just so sweet but the watercolors I'm going to use I've got a mishmash here over here in these little tubs I'm going to show them all to you these are Ann Butler's new ones that are made by Emerald Creek and these are called heat set watercolors i'm not really going to be using them for that purpose today but um anyway i thought this is the whole set emerald creek was lovely to send me these and i wanted to be sure and use them and give ann a shout out for her her new product the other ones i'm going to be using are uh, core which of course is made by golden and I have them sort of dispensed over here at the side I don't have enough room to show you everything at once so when you see me like going to the side with my brush it means I'm probably grabbing one of these colors okay and this is opera pink and phthalo yellow green and cobalt teal I think yeah cobalt teal and green gold some of my favorite colors yes so all right so first things first I'm gonna just lay a stencil right down here on the gel plate easy peasy and I'm gonna grab some water and wet some of these and then show you what they do so I'm just putting some water right here in the the thing I can put it over on my palette which is what I've done
You know, it ends up after I've been printing with a gel plate, I've got this hot mess spread all over my table, but it's a very good mess. Very good mess. Okay, so I'm using watercolors. I'm using some little solidified and also some tubes from Daniel Smith and Core. And I am adding either dish soap or some gel medium with it to the gel plate so that it does not bead up and it is just fun 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 you guys i think you're gonna love doing this some of the results you get are amazing um, even when it blurs out you can go back later on and add some more detail with just stencil again but i mean seriously it is for me, anyway, it's the kind of abstraction that I really love. So I hope you found this inspiring and you'll maybe go make some jelly printed paper today. You can use it in your journal and tons of places. Please Thank you so much for watching. Be sure and subscribe so you'll know when the next stencil tutorial is available. Discover thousands of stencils, info about classes, and about Stencil Club when you click the links below. Happy stenciling!